Hi, Louis from Specify here. So today we'll see how to pull design tokens and assets from your Specify repository and transform them so they can be compatible with a web project using CSS. So as you can see here, we have what we will generate basically is this output folder containing our font files that will be converted in different formats, our colors that will be generated as CSS custom properties, a fonts um, CSS file containing our font files import, our text styles that will be generated as CSS classes, utility classes, and we will have our icons as um, exported as SVG and optimized in this vectors folders. So let's remove all of this and we will generate them thanks to the specify CLI. So as you can see here, I have a specify repository that contains several types of design data, colors, text styles, uh, even uh, vectors or font files. And uh, what we will do is get this design data and synchronize them into my local directory I just showed you here. And we will use the specify CLI. So first things first, Let's jump in our local directory and yeah, install the specify CLI. So you can install the specify CLI locally or globally on your computer. And here I will use to install it globally. So your global add at specify app slash CLI. Okay, perfect. This is done. And now that I have the specify CLI installed, I have to configure specify so that the design data I want to pull from specify will be yeah, distributed in my project exactly how I, how I want it to be. So instead of writing my configuration manually, I can use a template. So to use a template, you can use the specify init comment that will help you use a template. And here the template I'm gonna use is called CSS custom properties. And I want this configuration to be generated in JSON. Okay, perfect. So this configuration is almost done. And the last thing I have to do is first set the repository, the specify repository I will pull my design data from. So my repository is called all design data and it's in the Acme Inc organization. So Let's replace this. And I also need to provide a personal access token so that Specify understands that I have the correct access rights to call Specify and get design data in return. So you can generate your personal access token directly from your user settings. And here I will generate a personal access token that is called CLI. So let's copy and let's set my personal access token. Now that my specified configuration is finished, I can do two things. The first thing is when you run the specify comment, you have a glimpse in a glimpse, you have a glimpse of all the different comments that are at your disposal. And so in it, this is the one I just used. And here I have the sync and a pull comment. The sync comment will help me make me sure that the repository I'm pulling design data from has the latest design data available compared to the sources it's collecting uh, design data. So in my case, I have different Figma files connecting, uh, connected as sources in my specified repositories and I want my specify repository called all design data to have to, to synchronize and to have the latest design data available. And once this will be done, I will be able to pull this design data. So let's do specify sync. And now let's run specify pull. Okay, perfect. So as you can see here, I now have my output folder 
containing my fonts, my styles, and my vectors. Thanks for watching.